And we're going to not only to explain to you how the flow logic effect works, we're actually going to do an on-site demonstration. See? Okay. <laughs> it's very expensive. Lame. So, okay, so the concept of the photoelectric effect basically is you can see that down here, but I'm also going to draw right off. So, get fully explained. Oh, yeah. So, the, uh, the photoelectric effect uh, is um, light waves entering a very, like, a, almost a concealed, like, vacuum sort of space, like, uh, like through small, like, um, there's small slits so that it just, like, only a small portion of light comes in contact with the conductor, which is, like, a, a, a piece of metal where the charge is, like, equally spread throughout its surface, which means that, like, there are electrons equally spread throughout, like, a, like a metal surface. The light comes in contact with it, and the photoelectric effect is, like, the, the transferring of this light's energy, like, to the electrons, and the electrons taking off, like, with that energy. And now, and then the electrons, like, uh, and then the electrons travel between two um, metal plates and create a circuit. Like, it will, will allow, like, a voltage to circulate. Like, so that is, like, you know, like, so that is... Uh, if you have enough light, then it can basically act as if the circuit is closed. Yeah. Like, um, if you say you want more power to come out of the circuit, what you do is you can't have light have more energy because light only travels at, because a photon only has a certain mass, and, um, and uh, light can only travel at the speed of light. So yeah. you can't make the light go through light faster on it. You have to make, just put more light on it. So I'm gonna draw. So here, so just kind of to illustrate a little better. Here you have a stationary electron. You have a incident, X-ray, so no, like it, a light, light. yeah, like a light wave, photon, whatever. Because the photon can both have a wave and particle qualities. Okay, it hits the electron. Now what happens is, is that you have an elastic collision. So the photon will give some of its kinetic energy to the electron. So the electron that was stationary will begin to move while the photon will have well, will have less energy because they have to have conservation of energy inside the system. So the energy of these two things is equal to this. So what happens is light hits an, uh, free, an electron in this metal plate, and that added energy helps it to cross this chasm to the other side. So let's talk about the history of the photoelectric effect. Okay. So around 1886 and 1887, um, Heinrich Hertz made experiments which confirmed Maxwell's classic theory of electromagnetic magnetic waves. No, oh. so uh, so it was originally uh, the, con the experiment was originally conducted, but there was no explanation that, that like fit the uh, experimental results because, because the classical class model of physics did not explain the photoelectric effect. Yeah, like so. So then, uh, and then Einstein came around in like the 1900s, and using uh, Maxwell's theory of magnetism and electricity, that light actually experienced like light was a a particle and en its mass and energy, which is like what Einstein's like uh, famous equation is about. Like that, there's this very swift, uh, um, this swift uh, trans uh, transformation between mass and energy, and light kind of exists like in both simultaneously. Like that, it's 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 matter and energy. It's, um, that's why it behaves both a right, wave so, and a particle. Yeah, and then so <laughs> Einstein, with his like more like updated uh, views on, on matter and light, uh, explains the photoelectric effect and how when you shine a light into uh, or on a conductor, it will perpetuate a, a circuit. Okay, so as I said before, experimental results when this was first done, couldn't be explained. But the experimental findings were first that a brighter light would cause an increase in current because there are more photons hitting the metal. Because, as we said before, a photon can only have one energy, one speed, because it's, it's one particle traveling the speed of light, which is a cosmic speed limit. You can't throw more energy, you can't throw the photons faster, you have to throw more photons at it. It's increasing the density of the light. So, Yes. Yeah, so like, uh, so if you want, if, um, sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like if you want more current to flow, if you want more electrons to keep moving, you need more photons to come in. And brighter light will make <coughs> more, like, the more, like the brighter the light, the, meet, like, the, the more the photons, so, or the more photons there are. So like you increase the, the amplitude of the light, you increase the brightness, for more electrons to start flowing. And in the 1800s, you couldn't explain that because Einstein had come along with his theory, with his theories and explain and discover this wave particle, wave uh, matter energy dual state of the light existing. Yeah. Because it's something that's completely weird and makes no sense when you think about physics classically. You have to have a new form of understanding of physics. Um. So then, but like, the frequency of the light will but like will. Will um will affect how like fast the uh, the electrons are moving. Just for like, reference, frequency affects color. Yeah. So light. like like blue blue light and red light have to, like the frequency of uh, of the light depends on what color you're seeing and like uh, and um, so, so like have different sh- effects on on the on the on the current that is in the circuit. Yeah. So like the if it's a very small frequency, the energy of the light will be like very small and it won't the electrons won't like will not have enough energy to leave the metal plate. So then like there's that point right here on the, like when like uh, where like the frequency will be too low for the electrons to move at all and there will be no circuit. Like they, they will not leave the metal plate. So now we're gonna do a short demonstration using these schools right here. Yeah. So you guys can all come up. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, close the because we can't think of Make the room as dark as possible. Little bands of light here. Yeah. So. You see there are different colors of light? Here, you can see my hand. Different colors of light will have different oh. effects on the voltage and the current. And we're going to use this in order to measure it. Okay, so go to the other side so you can do it all manipulated. And do and to what decimal number, what decimal place you want to measure yeah. to? Yeah, and so it's gonna it's gonna change when we change the frequency of the light yeah. because and that like is changing the energy, like how much energy is hitting like the, the metal plate. Right there, it's on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In order to change it even further, we have these filters right here. So we can just put it here and instantly get a change we want. For now, we're gonna go without the filter. Okay. So that looks like a current of 1.2 1. 1. 1. amperes. Yeah, so it's 1.1 1. 1. 1 amperes right now, and then when you change the frequency of the light, put the, uh, oh wait, oh yeah, okay. It is blue? Yeah, now it's blue light. Here we know, put the blue light filter on. Yeah. Okay, so it's, wait, 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 give me one second. Okay. Oh. Okay. Alright, now it is 1.17. Oh, it's kind of okay. okay, so now move it to no, 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 yeah, now it's dropping because the frequency has now changed. Sorry. Just come here to see. Yeah. So now there's less. Oh, well, there's less uh, energy, and now less current running through because the frequency of the light has now changed. Yeah, so that's the... Uh, so, wait, so it reds have higher, put out higher energy than blue? Frequency. That's higher. why they're warmer. Uh, less uh, frequency. Yeah. Red, the red light. The light. Uh, what is the frequency of the red and the blue right, uh, light? If you will. It's uh, red to blue. Yeah. Blue has a... Uh, higher frequency, right? Uh, and what is the formula for the energy of the I think photon? blue is... Some no. It's velocity. No, yeah. velocity. Your velocity is the so you can imagine that as your velocity is equal to your uh, wavelength. Oh, I think that's the yeah, yeah, Oh, is yeah, that the right? Lambda is wavelength. So it's, your velocity is equal to your wavelength times your frequency. So wavelength is distance, mm-hmm. and frequency is how fast you're moving. Or, yeah, or no, no sorry. No, like, no. F not how fast you're moving. Uh, how many times you last? 
Yeah, how many times you oscillate, like, per second? So many. Yeah. Like, sorry, and how? also, by measuring the stopping potential, you see, yeah. from the stopping potential voltage, you can determine the frequency, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's, it's really just, like, uh, like, how, how, yeah, right, how much, like, you're, you're oscillating over a certain distance is going to be how fast you're moving. So, it's really just, like, you know, if I'm going to travel from point A to point B, like here, the time that I got here. there in is going to determine like how, like my velocity. So like here's like this diagram right here. You see that it has a larger frequency here because it undulates. See this is see this right here. The space right here is one. Okay, and the space right here is two. They both oscillate three times. This one oscillates three times within one interval. This oscillates three times within two intervals. The frequency has changed. It has a lower frequency here than it does here because it undulates <coughs> less times here in a certain amount of space. So, like I said, you know, this one goes three times in one unit of space, this one goes one half times. So, you've halved your frequency by hitting an electron and okay. giving it some of it, your energy. Yeah. Because, as we said before, energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. And since you've given the electron some of your energy, it means that now the photon has less energy, which means that its amplitude is smaller. Right, I mean, its frequency is smaller. Right, we'll see. Does anybody uh, have any more questions? I would know it's confusing. <laughs> it's so confusing to us. <laughs> <laughs> but you <laughs> seem to really have a grasp of it, which yeah. is surprising to me. Yeah, because we had something wonderful. So if I were to add, well, first of all, I'm just curious.